that new agreement between the teachers union and the school board, tens of thousands of kids will now return to the classroom for in-person instruction. Yeah, Matthew Hertrick is joining us live this morning. So Matthew, what can students expect on this first day of school? Yeah, good morning, Matt Monica. Well, it's going to be a, a bit of a first day do over. The district says that they are going to essentially redo the first day of school, meaning that today will be a traditional first day back for about 50,000 students here across the district. Now, with the first day of school comes things that, of course, parents need to know. And first off, we're here at the bus compound and those buses are starting to fire up this morning. The district says parents with bus eligible students must opt in to their students bus schedule using the parent portal. Now, this spring, the district installed a new transportation routing system designed to increase efficiency and the district says that of the 588 bus routes they have, 538 of those will be driven by district drivers. The other 50 will be covered by two outside vendors. Now with the return to school, that also means the return of extracurricular activities. Athletic band and drill practices all resumed last Last week, all games are expected to resume this week with all other school based activities starting back up today. Certainly a welcome return to normalcy for students who have had their school experience turned upside down the last two years. Everybody, you know, wants to be back in the classroom and really that's the place we should be. And to all of our students, just know that, you know, Every adult in this district, every community member really does care about you. And uh, as we saw our community out there supporting our teachers, they're really, that's really support for you too. Now the district says any parent who hasn't received their students bus information yet should contact the transportation call center beginning at 6 a.m. As for parents, the district says that they plan to hold a family virtual engagement session tomorrow in which students or excuse me, parents rather will be allowed to sound off really on the return to learning in the classroom. Local for you here in Columbus, Matthew Herchik, NBC4. Matthew, thank you. You can find details on that finalized contract and more information about today's first day of school for CCS by heading to NBC4i.com.